Testing, testing, testing mic. Yeah! <laughs> 
境を生き延びることができた
シャンプー今日も広びることができた
シャンプーカンプリーいかないんだサバイバー
right now he's trying to do that 2v1 essentially Artie is letting Miyagi 2v1 them right now so he doesn't die he's trying to preserve his stock for whenever he needs it ooh right there that back air that was a hot back air yo let's see what Link Dog can do for a follow up oh no Yikes. look at that oh shit oh. but he lets him back on stage and we have a 2v1 situation but Miyagi's at a high percent we call it Clutch Nasty if he does it. Oh, you see right there. Oh my god, a second chance at life. He needs a fat... Dude, just F-smash him, dude. Oh my god, you F-smash your teammate there. You know what I mean? You need to F-smash your teammate because even if you hit them, they're not gonna die, but the enemy will die. Right fucking there. You gotta hit him. All right, so where the where are they gonna go, huh? Was that actually game one, Spees, or have you been not counting? <laughs> was that actually game one, or okay? Word. So that was game one. So now is this best of five or best of three? Best of three. Okay, cool. So red team probably banned what? Peach box probably banned Dreamland. Yep. And then they are probably gonna go to Pokemon's a really good pick here. Um, FD's a really good pick here. Oh wow, they just go back to Battlefield. Or they just go to Battlefield, I should say. <laughs> oh, no. Hmm. Interesting. So we're seeing it in the works right now. We see a crazy switch to Sheik from Yagi. How nuts is that? <laughs> I don't know why he switched to Sheik to go Battlefield, but yeah. I, think, I think Fox is pretty fucking disgusting here. Um... What is he holding him there for? Wow, that worked. No mash. I see no mash from Miyagi. Oh, dude's already guarantee good. You, guarantee you this dude gets wobbled in winners round two and complains about it. No Ooh. mash. Let's go. Oh, big fat bear. Get him right in the face. Oh, this is crazy. Uh, Very loud. They're starting the double bracket. This is grand finals of the first double bracket. Where we're gonna have three more doubles brackets after this. Wait, what? <laughs> no, that's not true. There are going to be seven more doubles brackets after this one. We're gonna be here until tomorrow. I wish. I wish I could enter doubles seven times. Yeah, honestly. Oh if my only. 
Oh my goodness, we're seeing them work on him right now. Red team's really going in. Mm. I can't tell if this is Boltzmarth or if, uh, I'm assuming it is. Oh but wow. It's, it's definitely putting in some work right now, giving Link out the support he needs to, uh, excel beyond his foes. Mm. Um, Wow. That was the part where I can't hear anything. <laughs> Let's go, Nugget. Nugget is here? Nugget's here. What a weirdo. Yeah, isn't that crazy? <laughs> I'm always impressed by Artie's ability to survive this entire percent. Yeah, oh, but he might get fucked up right here. Yeah. Let's see the yeah, they're, they're, they're actually oh, doing no, a, great, a great job of um, stopping him. Yeah. Miyagi definitely got back in there to save his teammate. Mm -hmm. I still don't understand why I went cheap though. Yeah, he's getting kind of body right now. Yeah. It's all in all, the SD included, like, dudes, like, you can't. I don't know if switching to, to Sheik was the right pick, even because he just played Fox the game before, so he's not warmed up with Sheik. Yeah. But he had at least a little bit of feeling himself with the Fox. Uh -huh. He's gonna take it. Oh my god, take it already. Oh, uh-huh. Very good. Okay, okay. Oh, nice. He's just keeping him away while Linkai gets that guard. Well then. <laughs> Is he just gonna go in? He's gonna hit him. Oh, what a fiend. Hit him! Yeah, that's gonna kill him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If he wasn't at 150, he'd be hitting one side. Maybe yeah, yeah, have yeah. a little face, but. <laughs> So we see the reset. These guys are absolute nuts. <laughs> yeah, I wonder um what even happened to the bracket to get Lynn Colin locked in, knocked into losers. I have no idea. And a guardian winners. They grab the water with the Valencia the Valencia jersey on. This dude's <laughs> trying to trying to make a point. Yeah. I love sports. <laughs> Chevrolet. Is he sponsored by Chevrolet? I'm <laughs> curious. Look at that. Oh my god. He's got the, the sweatshirt on his pants too. Oh my goodness. A sweatshirt on his pants? He's got a sweatshirt like over his over oh. his legs. He's got, he's got his controller there right on top of it. I see. That's pretty sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so we're going back to FD. That yeah. game one. I'm surprised to not see any uh, stadium. Mm -hmm. Dreamland, I don't think is the right pick. Oh yeah, of course not. For for Falco Marth. Yeah. Because he's just so good there. And then Fox beats both of those characters there as well. But FD, not bad at all. Uh-huh. Good down smash right there. Oh, excellent power shield. Oh Yagi. sick on already for it. He did a pretty sick stuff there. Mm. Yeah, hold that edge. Absolutely dominated that first double stuff. Yeah, hold that ledge. Woo. Oh no, got spiked. Oh dude, you backed him there. Oh my goodness. Throw him into your teammate, dude. Your teammate's right there, ready to hit him. And can he make it? Yup. You gotta kill this box, dude. Oh, see so you like Oh that. darn, yeah. Good. I think they need to keep Colin on Artie, and then they need to keep Lint on Miyagi right now. Because that seems to be uh, what worked in the past. Colin can just space out Artie really well with Fair. Just keep him away from the team. And then Lint God can just take a row on Artie's family. Or on uh, Miyagi's Ooh, family. nice there there. Yeah, wow. So we see him going okay. down. Okay. Yeah, they're doing a great job once they're killing the first teammate. Then yeah. they just really take advantage of that 2v1. Yeah, absolutely. Bad lasers from then. Oh. We got to step it up right now. It's playing a little slow. Already right there, ready to assault the enemy What's team. What's he gonna do? Oh. You just go straight to the edge. Weird lasers again. 
These guys really got to get in there and start hitting people. Whoa. Exactly, dude. Hit them. Yeah. There we go. And that didn't go. Okay. I mean, the eye of God, honestly. That was a pretty raw. Yeah. Match, but. Oh, yeah. They see right there. Sorry, S Smash, dude. S Smash is so good. Yeah. S Smash and are so good teams. Fuck me some aerials. Oh. Goes him back on and off the stage. A mess right now. Mm -hmm. A whole lot going on. Nice F smash. Oh, good spike right there. Live. And Artie yeah, yeah. makes it down. Nice. Good tech. But not quite. Good, masterful tech. This is the combo I'm looking for. Yeah. See right there, 50% right there. Oh, that's hot. The con has to make sure he doesn't die right now. Already! That's rough. But right now, we got what could potentially be a Lint God versus Miyagi match if. Oh no, there it is. Didn't take enough advantage of when Martha's off stage. Up throw, him. yep. Yep. I would like to see a down air there to a Mars F smash. That would have been hot. Crazy weird option to shoot the lasers right there. Oh my god. That was literally almost it. That is perfect. See right there. Bam. Hit your teammate. Did you enter singles? Yeah. I'm cool. Ghetto War Machine 420, by the way. Oh, yeah, I've heard of you. Aren't you from... New Hampshire. Okay. Why are you here? I don't want to come to Hawk. Ah, I see. That's awesome. I met up with uh, Makari. I drove an hour to his place, and then we drove, like, I think two and a half hours here. Nice. Yeah, I've seen you on stuff. Various yeah. stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, is there a Wi-Fi for this place? Is there a way I can connect to it? Do you know the Wi-Fi password? What? Apparently none retweeted one of my tweets dissing hugs, so I gotta see how that's doing. Oh, crazy assault right there by the Yeah, jeez. They run it back, justifiably. The last game was very tight. Mm -hmm. A lot better than in set one as well. FD is such a fun stage for doubles. FD, I love FD, dude. Because it's just Combo City. You know what I mean? It's you and, it's you and your boy trying to get trying to get crazy. Yeah. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> oh, damn. Yagi with the club right there. Gives an opportunity to even this game back up. It's pretty even. It's not like 60%. Nice sounds right there. And again, Artie's being a lot more solid with the space in this game. Oh, I'm gonna play Colin, Jesus. You have to play Colin right off the bat? No, I have to play Winner of Rye Fish's match into Colin. But it's like, damn. I guess I'm cool with that. That'll, mm. be, that'll be good. We we have pretty close sets. Nice. I wish I could beat Colin. Yeah. I have such a Falco problem. Dude, Falco's so hard. Yep. And right here, we're seeing Falco look easy right. in this double set. <laughs> oh, but can you get the down air? He went for it. Oh, yeah, Jesus is already first stop. Oh boy, that was a very, very questionable offstage option by uh, Lint right there. Oh, we see the chain grab right now. Artie's just walling him. Nice. He's already just walling him out, giving him the goods. This is a pretty even game right now. Link got taken, getting taken out. Wait, no, this is Lin's mark. Wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah, it's Lin's mark. This is Lin's mark? Yeah. I thought I've been saying it's Colin's mark this entire time. No, Lin's been playing Marth in doubles a lot recently. Really? Yep. Oh, I have no idea. I don't. I don't. I had no idea. Holy shit. That's crazy. All right. Well, this will work. <laughs> that changes everything. <laughs> Oh, that makes so much more sense now. 
I mean, like, oh, Lin's not looking like his usual self. It's just fucking, oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lin's Marth is a lot of fun, too. Yeah, it looks a like really it. unique Marth. Oh, he's dead right there. That Whoa. guy is the. That guy, uh, oh, Lord have mercy. Colin, we're the guy the edge. I guess trying to preserve his time, shooting some lasers. Whoa. Oh, nice. Oh, very strange option to go down there. Scales here? Jesus. Yep. I think Bolt needs to stop shooting lasers. Mm, definitely. Oh, that was very ballsy, Ooh. but it worked out. Oh my god. And both of them are still alive. Yeah, oh my god. But they're up a stock right now, so this is like a bad position for Blue Team, but it could be easily a very good position. Oh, oh that's not wow. That is not how. Just, dude, just hit him. Just death smash your fucking teammate. <laughs> your teammate gets the grab for a reason. They want you to fucking hit him. Mm -hmm. Alright, now go out there. Alright, that works. That should be it. Nope. Oh, Marty's still alive. <laughs> yeah, God. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Very nice. Whoa, two Good event. set. Mm. Great game from the boys. Cool. TP7, Well then. Oh, Lord have mercy. Time to sit and wait. Yeah, right? We're chilling now. Yeah. Ugh, taking a break after doubles. Did you enter? I did doubles. Yeah, how'd it go? It went pretty well. Yeah? Yeah, I get? think we're finally, because we play, um, <laughs> a, uh... Buddy, who's your teammate? Nibbity. I don't know who that is. Uh, he's right there. Blonde. He has, All like, right. a reddish shirt on. Word, I'm with it. Yeah. Um, we have a Puff Falcon team, which... That's wild. Yeah, we've had to do a lot of our own troubleshooting with it because it's hard to that's, find yeah, a that's lot of... Yeah, crazy. Like, yeah, but it's super fun. I think we're finally getting to the point where we're solidifying our team combos a lot. Word. And we're... Oh, thank you. Making a lot of great strides. So yeah. I'm finally starting to get a, like closer to teams we never thought we'd be able to get close with. Oh, you're on stream. Yeah, I gotta play right first. Sick. I'll say nice things about you. Good luck. What have you been up to, Spies? Nothing. Sitting. <laughs> Oh, okay. I said, what have you been up to, <laughs> there we go. So it looks like we got old, old dad versus Ghetto War Machine 420. Well, this is a bit loud. Let's make this a little bit less loud. There we go. Got Ryfish rocking that receding hairline, as always. We'll see how it uh, comes into play within the context of this match.
Hey, you. Huh? Oh. Things. Stuff. Oh, the mic was off. The mic was off. Ah, I see, I see. <laughs> It's okay, because I'm not amazing at talking about myself anyway. It's interesting to see what Keto has in store. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> 
Oh, that was so fast. All right. Well, Tiramisu is at like pretty big deficit right now. I don't think he's gonna go down without a fight, but I think he needs to switch up his game plan. World Gold is just like he's taking what he can get, just like that. I, I want to say a good, a solid three of those stocks, which is Tiramisu like being off stage and just getting gimped for it. And um. Well, I don't think Tiramisu was really like struggling in the neutral too badly, like on stage or anything. I, I just think Rolled Gold really capitalized off the situations where he wanted to put Tiramisu in a situation where, like, the 50-50 was die or don't. Like, it, like there were like equal odds, right? And as long as Rolled Gold picked the right option, um, it would like guarantee him a kill. This Captain Falcon's interesting. I haven't seen it before. I don't know if this is Tiramisu's give up character or a serious secondary. I would like to say that this character isn't really going to throw World Gold off. Um, I, I think unless Tiramisu was like a super nutty in-your-face Falcon, which it looks like he's going for the hard reads. Ooh.
got some slick option coverage from Old Gold. Not looking to extend his punishes too far, just willing to take what he can get. So far, Tiramisu is doing like a pretty decent job of doing what his character has to, and just getting like these small little reads in neutral, um, whether it's on a jump or on an approach. Kind of using a nair to stuff any of Fox's approaches. Wow. Very patient. A lot of Foxes would have went out there and tried to hit him like mid up B, but he knew that he could have just waited until it was over. Falcon was at a high enough percent. He didn't have to risk going off stage. Ooh, that was, that was a bit of a rando. I don't know if he meant to do that. All right, one stock deficit. I like the pace they're playing at. They're, it seems like neither player is like willing to c commit to a super hard on offense. But as I say, that tiramisu is kind of going in. And I don't know, I don't know how I feel about his tech chases. It looks like he's only going for reads. Um, so he'll kind of like, and even when he does that, he's kind of messing up his timing. Okay, now you just have Smash to cover the uh, non-sweet spot. And he's willing to just rinse, repeat, normal get up and up smash, and that's gonna kill him. Uh, Fox at 104%, I would still call this like relatively even, honestly. Yeah, that, that that's like a common mistake versus Falcon as Fox. If you're not willing to take center stage, he's gonna corner you. And Rolled Gold didn't really know how we want to get out of the corner, if you want to abuse the platforms or just go straight for Tiramisu. He was kind of hoping that Tiramisu would just let up and give him stage control. At least that's that's the situation I've been in before. And again, he's getting these openings with Nair, and he'll get like a true follow-up and then just go for a read on the tech chase. It's working for him this game, but honestly I don't, I don't see this strategy work in game 3. Ooh, up throw to down throw. That was a really nice ledge step from Rolled Gold. It was kind of like ambiguous of, of uh, whether or not he was actually going to grab it. Um, the sign of like a really knowledgeable, maybe even technical Fox main is like if you can get close to ledge and up B and snap like from as far away as possible. Um, sometimes you could bait like other characters into going out trying to hit your firebox or they might wait for you to up B on the stage and cover it when really you're just going to snap to ledge and you're going to have invincibility. So, game three on Yoshi's story. Uh, Rolled Gold didn't like that Tiramisu had all that room to run around. I kind of agree. I Again, he wasn't really getting anything off his tech chases, but if Rolled Gold can just keep the fight close quarters, um, I guess he's pretty confident that he can get the kills. Faster kills off the top, off the sides. All right, guess, okay, now he's going for tech chases. Got him off stage with that weak knee. That was smart, because um, he knew Tiramisu was going to snap to the ledge. Okay. This is like really bad melee, sloppy neutral. Neither of them wants to commit to anything. They don't have any reads on each other in neutral, so they're just kind of like throwing out hitboxes and hoping something sticks. All right, actual tech chases. I like it. Stomp to knee. Evens it up. Ooh. And Rolled Gold showing why you can't always just stomp a neutral as Falcon, and air will cut right through it. Yep, again. Down air neutral, Rolled Gold was just ready to call it out. Nice jab to break up that tech chase. Tiramisu is not ready for it. They both roll out. Nice back air out of shield. And that'll clean up that stock. Yeah, so whatever Rolled Gold gets here is kind of crucial. Because um, this is the point where Falcon kind of wants to try and put on a little bit of pressure. Um, especially like a fox like Rolled Gold, you want to get him as uncomfortable as possible. Having a stage like Dreamland with a lot of room, um, trying to like just take so much center stage just with your presence, but... Ooh! Falls out that up B. It's a tight set. I actually don't know who's going to take this. I would be pretty surprised if 2 2 won this with his Falcon. I feel like if you're gonna beat Rolled Gold, you're gonna beat him through fundamentals, you're gonna be the better player. 
can't cheese him out. So this would be awesome if Tiramisu took it. I'm going to talk to him later about this Falcon. Ooh, he really wants to get something started. He, he's fishing to even this up. Ooh, no, he had the knee. I hope that was a missed input. That's crazy. I'm not sure if that's going to be it. He's going to F smash over and over again. He's going to go ahead and shine. Drop down shine. Uh, damn. You know, that was a pretty competitive set from Tiramisu's Falcon. I'm, he's happy. He's <laughs> he took a game. Came pretty close. Not what I was expecting. I was expecting straight Fox to those. Tiramisu's had some, like, really good wins under his belt. So, I'm... Again, maybe he's just, it's it's a local he's playing for fun, right? Who knows? But he's capable of a lot, man. There there were times where like he was looking like he was going to be the next up and comer. He may still be. I don't know shit. I don't come to tournaments anymore. Keto Ooh, Keto versus Nugget. Oh, R.I.P. My boy Nugget. This is. <laughs> oh man, I don't think he's going to be happy about a link main. Uh, kind of beating up on him. Keto, from what I've heard, is from MDVA. Came here recently, maybe a month or so ago, maybe longer. Super sick link main. When he first showed up, um, he kind of had like that novelty factor of like no one knows how to fight Link. And then people started to kind of catch on to how to do that matchup. And then he adapted back, and he's like, okay, actually, I know how to be all of CT's players. Uh, I hope he doesn't go Fox. Nugget, a living legend, Fox main. Looks like we're going to see a Fox did a game one. That's kind of lame. I want to see your link. Alright, game one on Battlefield. Nice little thunders to start it off. Up throw back air. Not committing too much on that platform tech chase. Ooh, what was that up there? I don't know the I don't know the fox colors yet. I'm gonna figure it out. I want to say neutral is keto. Oh, not much off that platform tech chase. You could kind of go about that two ways. If you up throw another spacey onto a platform, uh, you can use the up air to cover no tech or miss tech just as a read uh, automatically, and then react if they you know tech out or away. Um, or you could just sit underneath and just wait and react. I know Leffen likes to cover the in-place a lot, and then just react. Um, let's see, drop down back air. Yep, grab the ledge, so that's smart. Okay, so Keto's the Red Fox, nice. Alright, so Nugget's got some stuff, man. I, I've played with him a little bit, and from what I remember, like, even if he doesn't always do what he like wants to do, um, He's got like some like weird good tech skill, you know, just like random stuff. Ooh. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be talking about like tech chases a lot and like stuff on reaction. I think like that's that says a lot more about a fox than like their tech skill, you know? A lot of a lot of people just like go for reads, and I don't really respect that. All right. Nice little up smash in neutral. I wonder if he was going for a uh, short hop up air. And n neither of them are getting anything from these up throws. I do like what Keto went for if he just dropped down a little bit lower. Um, that could have been like a solid little gimp. Okay. Cheesed him out with some jabs. Not bad. Evens up the stocks. Stock. It's not going to happen. <laughs> okay, yeah. So Keto really likes to do like up throw drill because I think he's just looking for like the drill reset and into a uh, tech chase. But it hasn't worked once so far. Um, that last time it almost worked, but Nugget was just too close to the edge and he slid right off, did the right thing. Okay. Well, solid edge guard. Covered a couple options there. And he's setting up a stock. Alright, nice. Waits for the get up attack. Ooh, drop down shine. Misses it. Oh, uh, he could have refreshed his invincibility. Again, both of these players are going for like these drill resets and haven't gotten a single platform tech chase. Alright, I, I like the drift on that nair from Nugget. That was really good. Shine back air. Yup. 
covers the side B. Is that that's not quite gonna kill? I would have gone for a back air there. Oh, later. We're gonna see the link. So here's like the shitty position that you can put yourself in if you go for like these counter pick, not counter pick wars, but like want to play different characters. If Tito goes Link, if Nugget's just like riding this wave of momentum, he could like take a game. Um, whereas in a best, you know, a full set, it might be different. But we'll see what Dreamland does. I don't know if Nugget has any experience with this character. Um, we'll see like what kind of zoning tools. All right, so Kido's doing like some. Super optimal, like, Link stuff right here. Just getting all the tech chases, capitalizing off of missed techs. Um, just straight up, like, textbook what you're supposed to do. Um, that was, like, a really clean stock. And if you're Nugget, you, you might be thinking you want to close out this stock fast. Like, you don't want to be down a stock versus a Link. Um, I just really like the way Keto's covering, like, all these options. He's using every tool available. Down smash to cover multiple techs. Up, uh... Up B on the ground. Just get that little spike. I like it. Alright, up throw. Ooh. So, one thing I've noticed myself, I'm not sure if other players, uh, other Fox players have ever had this happen, but like where you up throw certain characters that you're not used to playing against, and you miss the up air timing, and you just get an up smash. Dash attack, dash attack, and a down air. Let's see how he sets up this follow up. Ooh. Wow, okay, so that was really good. The bomb forced Nugget to choose an option away. Um, he could have drifted towards offstage or air dodged, and the air dodge put him in a really vulnerable situation. Keto capitalizing off of everything. Use the bomb as a threat. Nice grapple on stage. Ooh, bit, bit of a lazy porter there, but Nugget didn't capitalize quite as well as he could off, off of it. That was a good shine. That, that was like a solid well composed you know he doesn't look shook he just looks like this has never happened to him before <laughs> like this is the first time like a good link main is beat up on him um and like that's that's not to his discredit necessarily um i would like to see him playing a little more fundamental it seems like he just really wants to get in there and hit link um that's like a common thing i'll notice and like not not lower level players but usually there are often times where, like, if someone's losing by a large deficit, they're constantly trying to find a way in, whereas the person with the lead is a little bit more conservative and just um, focusing more of their energy on tricking the opponent. Um, and basically, the, the saying is that you want to make your opponent make more decisions than you have to make. And so, like, when Nugget is, like, tunnel visually for these hits, Kido's just like, you know, I know when to dash back, I know when to, you know, threaten uh, with a projectile. Nugget's definitely finding his footing, though, man. He's taking two stocks now at 136%. Um, the longer this match lasts, the more information he'll have on this matchup. And I, I would like to see a pretty close game three. That would be nice. I, I will say, the, yeah. Um, even though you can, like, never really count a player out, when you're at 150% versus a link, you know, a down smash, a forward tilt, an up B, a lot of stuff will kill him. A lot of stuff will get rid of them. So, I saw him say Yoshi's. Close quarters probably makes sense. Doesn't. Well, so here's the thing. He doesn't want to risk Link using projectiles. Um, but I think the biggest problem, regardless of stage, is that, again, Nugget just wants these hits. And, uh, you know, Link has the hitboxes to, to threaten. There's a nice up smash under the platform. Um, one thing I didn't anticipate with a small stage like Yoshi's, I didn't anticipate Link getting better with the platforms. Um, but hey, that low ceiling coming in handy. Ooh. Right now, Nugget is just looking more composed. Um, but Kato hasn't really gotten anything started yet. Wow. Alright. Up there is going to shield poke. That down air looked a little bit greedy, I'm not gonna lie. He, it looked like he was trying to cover Nugget. Um, ooh, that could have been like a really slick edge guard. Forward air into down smash, get the tech chase, down smash. Covers the get up on the platform. Putting Nugget in a tight situation, that was a really great snap to ledge, and he'll get the shine up smash for it. Very smart to just hold shield. 
Um, it doesn't look... I don't... Tato's thrown out a couple grabs and they haven't really worked. So it looks like Nugget isn't really fearing the grab. That was, like, really good patience on his shield. Um, it's one skill in general to, like, know when to hold shield. But against, like, characters with grapples, um, a lot of times there's conditioning involved. And uh, even characters like Samus can get grabs on your shield if they condition you well enough. Samus and Link. Alright, Kato making it very hard for Nugget to get anything started. He's trying to just limit all of his movement options. Keep it close quarters. And again, make Nugget come to him. And Nugget's just like barely missing these key openings, right? Like the, like his drills, his shines. Uh, Kato's doing like a really good job of just avoiding. Um, oh, that was so smart. That was really good by Nugget. Yo, this is looking good. If Nugget takes this set, that's like... That's like a good win, man. I'd call that a good win. Ooh, he's trying to get too fancy with the sh I don't like that. I think he should have gone for maybe one more shine and an up smash. I respect it as someone who, on occasion, likes to swag out. But I think he could have got way more just off of, like, a guaranteed punish. But we'll, we'll see what that uh, missed opportunity ends up costing him. Kato got, like, a really nice uh, read on the movement there with the dash back. Again, shield poking with this down smash. Nugget needs to get himself out of these close quarter situations as fast as possible. He's got to find options, and he's got to be able to mix them up. Ooh, again, missing his confirmed drill into shine. He's off stage. All right, Kato's not going to commit. He doesn't want to put himself in a negative situation after an edge guard. All right, gets the tech chase. Glad they waited. Help smash out a shield. How does Link get out of this? Open himself up. Oh, no! Oh, and that's going to be it! Damn! That was a good set. Good stuff. Good stuff to both players, per se. Um, no, that's just, like, really fun to watch. It's not bad. I definitely thought it was going to be much, much different. Much more swayed uh, in one player's favor. Now we have our boy Scale coming up to the stream. Um, one of CT's PR'd players isn't really around uh, during the school year. But in the summer, full-time CT, coming back to these hogs. Always nice to see Sheik. We're going to see him up against, I believe that's Bonk. I, I, uh, yeah, yeah, that's Bonk. So I'm, I'm curious how Scale is going to do in this matchup. I've never seen him play a Pikachu. I'm sure he's got the fundamentals to back it up. You know, he's got some chain grabs. Uh, even if he doesn't opt for chain grabs or if he's never practiced it, Sheik obviously has very good down throw follow-ups and just, you know, very good normals in general. Yeah. Gonna be joined by a co-commentator here. Uh, what's your tag? Hey, I'm JPO. JPO, I'm Icy. Nice to meet you, man. You too. Say that one more time. Icy. Icy? Icy. Alright, cool. Yep, so we're gonna be watching Scale versus Bonk. Uh, do you know anything about either of these players? Okay, uh, I know a bit about Bonk. Okay. Cause, uh, Every time I like go to a national or anything, I always run into him there. Really? He's actually like a super big team. He goes through a lot. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know he's very good. So I talked a little bit about scale. Um, so what can you say about Bonk? Um, Results-wise, I don't know too much. I guess I okay. just know him more as a personality. Sure. I feel like he's uh, at least outside of the game, he's like a really good competitor. Um, every time you talk to him, he seems like super eager, and uh, I, I, don't know, I like him a lot. Yeah. That's cool, man. I, I'm interested to see this, because I I think... Would you say this is like a tough matchup for Pikachu? So, probably most uh, matchups are tough for Pikachu. This right. one, everyone says it's especially hard. Yeah. But I could understand the idea of like... Uh, if the Sheik is unfamiliar with it, I think there's tricks with the chain grab Bonk can do. If, like, right. So if Scale's not too familiar and hasn't labbed it up, he could get caught by surprise. Mm -hmm. And I know like Bonk has beaten players like uh, Maybe from New Jersey. Okay. Yeah, and, he's like, really good. Everyone says that Peach Pikachu is like a god awful matchup. Uh huh. And Maybe is really good, and he's beaten Maybe. So that's I, sick. I think no matchups really off the table for him. You know? Yeah. That's cool, man. I, I'm really looking forward. I've actually I don't think I've ever watched him play. Again, I know him as a person. You know, personality. I don't know him, but uh, this will be really interesting to see. Yeah. Game one on battlefield. Ooh, oh, it's starting off strong. Yeah, that up air sets up for a lot, even at 0%. All right, so, yeah, so Scale, I would say, is like a really fundamental player. Um, I'm interested to see how he handles his grabs, um, what he gets off of his normals. Uh, 
you know, how he gets his openings, and so far he's doing a pretty good job. Wow, yeah, Rakdos, 94% already. Okay, interesting F smash from the corner. Yeah, and you're going to be, see, be seeing Pikachu doing like a lot of these cross-up aerials. He'll do like a nair or an up air past your shield and then try and shield poke if you drop it. Yeah, or, yeah, with um, up air. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, up air comes out really fast and uh, it's like to bait out shield grab and stuff. It, it's all about tricks with Pikachu. Right. Okay. Scale at least a little bit familiar with the chain grabs. Yeah, and honestly, he took like 50% off a of grab. Yeah. Even if he doesn't do the chain grab to completion, like as long as he gets like that good percent and leaves himself at a safe position. Right. He's already out neutral Pikachu, and 50% off one grab is hell of a And this is gonna lead to a kill. Ooh. Okay. So that was um good DI by Bong to be able to get that tech situation, um, so he wouldn't get hit with the down throw up air. And uh, for those of you unaware. Pikachu's down B does not have infinite range, <laughs> so he was like right under scale, but didn't quite get it. Yeah, I will. I feel like he missed a little bit of the momentum he needed as well. Yeah, that could be it as well, for sure. And, and I guess I would also say like the difference between a good Pikachu and a great Pikachu, and maybe you agree or disagree, the angles on your up B and how good you are at tricking your opponent off stage. Oh. Uh, obviously Axe being the best in the world at it, um, constantly tricking people up. Yeah, I definitely think that's important, and uh, it, it seems like Bonks has pretty good angles for the most part, right? Yeah, yeah, so far it doesn't look like he's missed anything. Um, you know, pretty eager to just get on the ledge without having to do too many fancy tricks uh, on the way. Yeah, and like you said, even if he doesn't chain grab to completion, Scale's still getting massive percent off this, and positioning. Yeah. This is a bit of a, more of a blur than I thought it would be. Yeah, so far, it just looks like Bonk hasn't had any, like, really good openings. He hasn't, like, found a way in or, um, doesn't really have a read on scale as a player yet, I don't think. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah. Yeah, and to, to kill Sheik, um, you know, he's got to be able to be really good at edge guarding the character, or I think the only stock he got, I think it was an up smash? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. He hasn't gotten, like, anything that seems even close to him so far. Like, right. hasn't been in a situation to get one. And it's tough, because Scale is, like, such a fundamental player. You saw earlier Bonk was, like, really trying to cross up his shield pressure on Sheik, and he was just happy to hold shield until he knew uh, Bonk was done. Yeah, and that's definitely a good way to play against, like, uh, a character if he's unfamiliar with the matchup. That way he can see, like, the tricks he's going for without exposing himself too much. Right. So, uh, I'm pretty impressed with scale. Alright. Let's see what he does for the edge guard. Ooh, standard get up. That, that was like... It was tricky for Bonk to do to try and get back, mm -hmm. and really simple for scale to cover. You yeah, know, like, yeah. like the risk reward or like the effort to, you know, the output was kind of mm -hmm. wonky there. So where do you think Bonk wants to go on uh, game two? Because Scale also has like a fox, he has a bunch of different characters, he oh, has a okay. Marth. Oh, he does? Um, um, I feel like we won't see Scale bring out the Marth, just because yeah. Marth Pikachu is notorious for being a wonky matchup. Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, I would expect him to stay, uh, stay chic, but where do yeah. you think Bonk would want to go? Um, I feel like either Yoshi's or Fallon. Yeah, Fallon. That makes sense. I, I think he wants to be closer to Scale. Uh -huh. And it looks like he's pretty comfortable with like platform movement and stuff like that. Um, it could also potentially mess up uh, chain grabs with the lower platforms. Ooh, the scale, scale is really good with platforms. He's a good shield dropper. Um, he's the type of guy that'll punish you if you like have a tendency just to go to platform for no reason. Mm -hmm. Did you see that nice like edge cancel on his uh, up B right there? Yeah, yeah, that was for really sure. Good. Okay. And this is like the first time Bonk has oh, really gotten him off stage. Alright, nice well, talking to you, man. You too. That's JPO, everybody. Signing off, he has to go play. So yeah, man, I want to see Bonk get a little more comfortable. Um, I know he's definitely a really good player. Okay. Nice little needle to slow down the recovery there. And Scale was able to cover, like, all the options there. Um, had time to react and there on stage. Okay, wow. 
Yeah, uh... Alright, closes it out there. Not too bad. Three stocks apiece. And this, neut this neutral situation is, like, super important, because right off the bat, as Scale got off the Angel platform, he's already racking up 96% from 25. So I'm gonna do the math. 71. Um, little spacing war with the down tilts. Nuge Flash, Sheik is better. Ooh, I like that! The little DI mix-up with the up air into Nair. Scale very smartly DI'ing back on stage. Was able to get out of that. Nice little dash dance, and yeah, Scale was ready for that up smash. Probably thinking that Bonk wanted to close out the kill. Uh, knows about Pikachu's strong up smash. And that spot dodge also covered a grab. So it was just like a pretty safe option unless Bonk had the read. Alright, up smash will do it though. Alright, cheese him out with a little down smash there, I like it. And uh, he had an opportunity there from underneath Scale, but Scale too smart gets out of there. Down throw to... Oh, okay. Could have gotten the tech chase there. Let's see what he's going to do. Okay. Doesn't commit too hard to anything, doesn't like go for ledge. Let's see if this is 2-0 or if Bonk is going to have a game 3. I, I would really like to see some more. Because again, I just really feel like he hasn't... Okay, is the charge not going to be quite enough? That's unfortunate. Unfortunate, I see. Cool. Well, I kind of don't really feel like commentating. If the next match isn't like super interesting, I'm going to go play friendlies. Dude, Eric, have you ever tried Pikachu and Friendlies? I've tried because I thought it would be fun, and I had no fun. On stream, Lint and Rolled Gold on stream. Lint and Rolled Gold. Um, and on TV, one. Nah, I'm good. Miami, Pikachu is nasty. Oh, Alright, you guys can rock with uh, no commentary, unless some dingus wants to get on and say words. Otherwise, just enjoy the raw game feed. Honestly, I think that's a lot better. Especially if you're trying to study up, get better at the game. If you want to figure out how to beat Lint, watch this set. Watch how he tears apart a fox. And then you end up not learning enough to beat him anyway. And it's fucking hard because Lint is really good. Alright guys, later.
Yo, Scott, you're a wiener for not coming with all the mass homies. You're a bigger wiener than me about Peach. Oh.
今回は僕の勝ちだね
Two, two, two. 
We are chilling right now. We got Artie, Bolt, winner semis. Look at this. We got a tight battle right now. Game four. What a crazy counterfeit. I wonder if FD worked out. That must have been the game he won. There it is. Puts it in his ass. Bolt is in winner's finals. So now we got Bolt versus Link God in winner's finals coming up soon. Right now, I think Bolt and or Bonk and someone else are playing right now. It's Bonk. It's get a war machine. Bonk knocked me into the uh, the get fucked. Game three, last dog, last hit. I got sent to losers by Bolt. Game three. It was a close one. Very close game. And now I am out. I am chilling. Hog has been great. CT's been nice. The venue is very fucking hot. We are sweating nuts out here, dude. It's nuts. <laughs> Alright, so Bonk Cushy is about to play on stream versus Artie. This is some bullshit. Bonk beat me and then beat Puff. 
and now he's playing Artie. I'm tight because this is loser's quarters. If I'm not mistaken, is this loser's quarters? Oh, it's fucking loser's quarters, dude. Just a stock. Come on, man. I heard you see to be 15. What's up with that? Birthday? Wow, what a guy. I need a co commentator. Speeds, you want to commentate? Okay, that's totally fair. Wait, what did I say? I don't remember. I said, why did you seed me 15, dude? I got 9. It was bullshit, too. I could have gotten, I could have, I could have been where Bonk is right now, playing, playing the man himself, Artie, if I wasn't a fool. Yeah, dude, that fucking sucks, because I had to play Bolt, second round. Oh, look, Jesus Christ, dude. Alrighty. Ricky moved me? That son of a bitch. Is Ricky the ginger? Is that? Yeah, that's... That's Ricky, right? Okay, that's what I thought. All right. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I was watching him play doubles, and I was like, this guy kind of sucks. Like, he does. Just chuck lava. What a fiend. Dab out. Alright, we're, we're starting on FD. What a crazy start. Pretty sure Bonk bans this shit, like, every time. Oh, shit, dude. Did you see that? Ooh! Hit him with the double. Oh, shit. That's whack. But I appreciate you, Stock. I appreciate the effort. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Damn. The the trade. How crazy is that? Oh shit, but he comes down. Right at the invincibility, they're smiling. Oh my god. Ooh. They reset to neutral. A minute has gone by. Two stocks have disappeared. Look at how crazy this neutral is. Oh no, he misses the FC Nairs. You know he wanted them. He just did the run through. The, the do nothing follow up, if you will. Oh, dude, this fucking air conditioning over here. Oh my god. Heaven. Godsend. It's been very hot. I don't know if I can press that enough, this venue is very hot. But right now, we got a we got a tight ass match. Game fucking one. Look at how crazy this is. Oh no, dude, that's so bullshit. Why can Pikachu do that? That's so stupid. This is garbage. Oh, nice Nair. Bonk Cushy, the short hop Nair. Master. Yeah, but damn beating uh, Schmink was uh, very surprising. <clears throat> I talked to him. About teaching. So he hates that shit. Oh, that's a stock right there. 67. Where the fuck were you holding your stick? Dan, pushing. That is enough. But don't stop for me. Got that edge. Oh no, you're a fiend. Oh, 
Oh, shit. What a crazy angle. Let's call that a mix-up, ladies and gentlemen. No way. Speeze, do you like just chilling here all day long? Huh? Why, why do you do this? Now look at how crazy this game one is. Long Christian with the lead saying, yo, let's go to England. Artie never was really New England. He was WPI. That's like a whole other branch of New England. If that was even considered New England. It's like a branch of Melee. Sure, WPI is in Massachusetts, which is New England, but Bonkushi is actually from there. Born and raised. Bonkushi. You ever see a dam like this? Goddamn like this. They go back. Whoa! He runs it back and says, yo, that was bullshit. Oh my goodness. Stan is in this ass. What is he doing? You don't up snacks. What the fuck? It's laughing. That would be a good time. Oh, what a fiend! What the fuck? Oh! I'm gonna do car bias. I drove here with this man, so I have to do it for him. Let's fucking go. That, that F smash was kinda hot. Oh, thank you. Artie is so potentially sick. See this man against the fox. That's my that's my like that dream playing Artie. Let's go, Dan. Oh shit. Oh nice, he knows. He goes, yo, you're gonna fucking grab me. Spot dodge like that. Oh my goodness, what a heavenly angle. How stupid is that? Then you're alive. You are alive. Man. Oh my god, look at this. He's gonna live for another 30% too. Look at how stupid this is. Because of a nutty ass- Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh shit. You guys see this shit right now? Fuck. Oh god damn it dude. Look at how stupid the fucking recovery is. Alright, Dan's sweating. They're both sweating. This is a very hot venue. Have I said it's hot yet? Cause it's hot. Oh, break that shield. Oh he knows dude. What the fuck? Take him with him. Who does he have to play if he wins? Probably like Tiramisu, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. I think you would uh I think he'd put it in him. It's gonna be a best of five too, right? This is best of five. So fuck yeah. And that's semis. And then who's he play? Bolt? He could be Bolt, dude. If Bolt beats Lint, I don't know. But if Lint beats Bolt, I think Bond could potentially beat Bolt, for sure. I think Bolt would get pissed off because it's a janky mid tier and he'd get hit by some dumb shit. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he can beat Bolt. So like like I was saying, if he wins this, he he can he might beat Tiramisu. I I, I, have, I have odds saying he'll beat Tiramisu. Yeah, I mean the dude's crazy, but like fuck no. That is insane. Dan Christian getting the ass in there. But like I was saying, yeah, he could he beat Artie, right? He beats Artie realistically, like, hopefully, like, this is all, like, er, the run shit, you know what I mean? Like, if he's gonna be getting this place in. 
speed thirty, beats tiramisu, and then he'll have a close that with bolt. Or bolt will just get pissed off and forfeit. Because it's the jank in the tier. Yeah, he always plays against Jerry and shit, right? Oh! What the fuck? That's that janky bullshit, dude! Play that funky music, white boy! Yeah, dude. He knows this fucking method. Oh my god, we're going back there again, dude. Alright, I'm gonna look at Christy Mac's Snapchat story. Holy shit, Christy Mac is so fucking hot. You know who Christy Mac is, Spees? Oh, he's got his headphones in. He can't hear me. Damn, what a fine woman. But as of right now, we are chilling. This game is sick. Oh my god! What a fiend, dude. The aerial rift from Bonk Cushy right now. Damn, I am ripped. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at that. The anti anti edge guard up air. That is like Pikachu's only like decent move. Everything else is pure bullshit. And the reason Oh, that's a stitch! What the fuck? Oh my god, what a legend. He thought he was gonna roll in. That's alright. Oh, I think I think I would've read that too. Nice, goes back to the edge right there. Knows that if he goes up, he's gonna get caught by Peach's down air, and then bam. Big old edge guard sequence. Look at that. He's fucking dead, just hold the edge. Roll. Nice, dude. Fucking rock with it. Long push going in. Look at that, janky down smash. Bullshit. Let's go, Bonk Toshi. Tells the hog. Is that another stitch? What a fucking loser! Oh, he doesn't even catch it. God damn it, dude. This is ridiculous. Two stitches? Come on. Give him a break. Can't deal with the first one. Fine. That one? That was too much. Oh, nice. Already known for his SC up airs, but that was just a regular float up air. It's still crazy nonetheless. Nice. Slick shield stops by already. He loves those for sure. Loves those, and then his immediate SC aerials. Very sick. I think every fucking tournament that he pulls is gonna be a stage now, to be honest with you. See? Oh my god. They all look like it. Oh wow, that's it! Leo and a handshake! Bonk Cushy goes in. Bonk Cushy goes in.
Hello. Uh, quick uh, update. Um, so Tiramisu, aka Max, he's gonna play most of his sets off stream because he kind of has to like go soon. He's like pressed on time, so unfortunately, I don't think we'll be able to see Max on stream unless like if he's okay with waiting. But it doesn't really seem like it. So rest in peace. But he's doing a good job today. So. Okay. Oh.
Yeah, uh, uh, hopefully it's not bad. But yeah, um, Tiramisu was kind of short on time, and then like, I guess him and, well, when he finished his set, uh, I think Colin and Tyler just kind of started their set on stream. So Tiramisu is kind of like, he's pressed on time a little bit. So he's playing Bonk right now. He's up a game, or no, Tiramisu is up a game against Bonk. And then, uh, blah, blah, blah. So basically, after that, if Tiramisu wins, then all his sets are going to be on stream as far as he can get. And then, well, if Bonk wins, then Tiramisu is gone for tonight. And w everything else is going to be on stream. So yeah, sorry for this random, like, nothing on stream thing. No, don't blame Ricky, what the fuck? Two words, not one. Yeah, Bonk be arty. It was like, what the fuck? <clears throat> Pikachu's get away with his gimmicks. No, cause like, I guess like Tiramisu didn't think he'd get this far. But like, you know, good, good on him that he did. So it's like, whoa. So yeah, there's going to be a little downtime right now. As soon as, um, I don't know, basically whatever the outcome of Bonk and Chiramisu is, after that everything else is going to be on stream. I th hopefully. What, Jason? Fuck you, Jason. Oh, what? Get your ass whooped? You kidding? Bonk's crazy. No, you have to say his name. What's his name? Dan. Dan's crazy. I can say that because I know him like IRL. <laughs> Four viewers. 
Dude, Jason, you're just going to get double four stocked. I don't know what the fuck you're trying to do. Especially, especially if you're playing with your Falco, you're going to get like double JV5. <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah, who? Oh, JPO? Whoa, Speeds, I'm surprised you know him. Alright, but yeah, so basically we're going to be on downtime for a couple minutes. So yeah, Ripperonis. Yo, what's up, Max? Oh, Grandma John. No, just kidding. Chilling with your grandma's cool. Ooh. They're on Pokemon right now. I don't know who's up. I would like to think that Tiramisu is up, but I don't know. Jolie Polioli. Yeah, it's like it's like they're on TV too, which is like super down at the end of like the venue. Whoa, chill, Polika. Are you kidding? So, I was talking to Tiramisu earlier, and he said that he has like a little bit of practice against like Pikachu. So, it's not like, so, it's not like he doesn't know anything. He knows like a thing or two. <laughs> Side bit. A dollar? Just a dollar? Are you kidding? You gotta make that five dollars at least. Okay, maybe three. No, that's what, that's what I, would, I would do because I'm poor. Oh, shit. I really want to ask, but... Little bit of dollar on Bonk. Just pay him on Venmo, dude. Speeds, speeds, speeds. Do you use Venmo? Do you use Venmo? You should. You should just pay him on Venmo. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the dude tournament. I lost a dollar. <laughs> that was not worth. I could have been a dollar more. <laughs> Fucking, uh, also people should use Venmo, because it's just optimal for, like, paying people back when you're, like, further apart from each other. Oh, shit. Man, I wish someone was recording that match. That's, like, kind of depressing that no one isn't. <laughs> well, don't be a fat bitch then. Fat bitch, wait no, gay nerd fat bitch the third. Oh, sorry, the gay nerd fat bitch is one word. Gay nerd fat bitch. Wait. Oh, Splash Man, that was it. That was what I was missing. Now everyone knows what your full name is. I fucking have a job. Seventy-five percent Fox Marth Peach Falco. Artie is like all of Artie is like the only relevant Peach. There's like other Peaches. I'd say like CT is like fucking mostly Fox and Falco, and then like throw in like a couple Mars, like two or three, and then like I guess everyone's side care like secondary Mars, and then Artie's Peach. And then something else. I don't know. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Because I'm looking at like all the CRTs and I see at least one Fox or Fal Falco. And then like throwing a Marth here and there. Okay, except for a Peach I see. Oh no, that's just a uh, Redfish's Peach. They're on Yoshi's right now. I think... I'm gonna say it's a two here, let me check on that.
Okay, so they're on uh, game five on Yoshi's. So let's go cheer and Masu. Nothing against Bonk, I love you. You're a homie, but fuck Pikachu. <laughs> or fuck mid tiers. Oh, it looks like Bonk. Oh, it looks like Tiramisu's up! Holy shit! Oh no. What do you mean? You didn't realize I can only chain grab like like bottom tiers. You're, you know I can't even chain grab fucking DK? That's only if he like doesn't DI at all. That's fucking bullshit, are you kidding me? Like I can kinda chain grab like Mario and Doc, but like fucking what is it? That's only if they like, DI away or some shit. I don't even need the platform camp. Wait, yeah, wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> what the fuck? Three to one odds. Get the fuck out of here. Oh shit! Tumorsu's up a stock. Three stocks to two. Let's go Tumorsu. Let's go Max. Oh fuck. Oh god he got gimped. Oh no. It's okay I still believe. He's Fox. He got up throw bear. It's fine. Oh, wait. Laser camp. Just laser camp the shit out of him. Oh no he rolled in. Uh oh. It's close. 20 to 60. What the fuck? Dash money. What the fuck are these odds right now? Holy shit. Oh, this is dead even. Fuck. Oh no. Oh. Bog messed up a combo. And instead of hitting him off stage, he got back on. <laughs> this is so fucking close. What's your max budget? Uh, James D. Peppermint. Ga uh, Tiramisu and Bonk is game 5. It's like, pretty fucking even right now. Ho ho! Max is at high percent. It's 2 stocks to 1. And he just took a stock on Bonk, so... Bonk's at lower percents. Just extra credit! Oh shit. Alright, now it's like... <laughs> dead even. When can you fuck? Oh shit, don't get gimped. Please, Max, don't get gimped. No! Oh, oh my god, no! Oh, what the fuck? Oh my fucking god! Yo! Alright, so fucking. Oh my fuck. Alright, so fucking. Bon Kushi tried to go for like a gimp, like down air or whatever. He fucked it up and he died. Max what? Holy shit! Oh my fucking god. Alright, Max is on, gonna be on stream from now on. I think so. Get to see more Max. Cheers to yeah. Chill, dude. Cheers to had to play off stream because he's kind of pressed on time. But like from now on, he'll be on stream because uh, I think he had Colin and Tyler or Lint. They were on stream earlier, and then Cheers like he he couldn't wait. So all right, peace.
All right, so every uh, uh, everything from now on will be on stream. Uh, Bolt, Tiramisu, and then, yeah, Losers Finals, Winners Finals, and then Grand Finals after that, so be good. How's it going guys? This is Miyagi on the mic and I would have been commentating earlier but I was watching Tiramisu tear through everyone and now he's finally in losers finals. Um, yeah, this is pretty insane. And now I'm hoping everyone cheers against Bolt and so we can give Tiramisu his energy. Hi son. How's my audio level? I can't hear myself in, in my headphones. Is it good or what? Can you like... I can't hear myself. But like, I can't hear myself. Yeah, I can like fix that. Well, uh, yeah, I can hear you, it's fine. Can you hear yourself and yours? No. Oh, okay. That's kind of weird, but it's okay. Sorry, Ambi Sinister. Tirasu's just like my the ultra homie, like the nicest guy you'll ever talk to in your entire life. So and he's just so sick. Alright. Let's see. Tirasu beats him up. Uh, beats himself up for being really like subpar at this matchup. Um, in his mind. He's like insanely good against like Mars Fox. Okay. I guess like Mars Fox, just like a lot of like dash dance heavy and like fairly neutral, like conventional neutral uh, heavy matchups, but like this. Uh, Falco tends to be like a kind of a problem matchup for him. Also, no good Falco is at his school. He goes to Brandeis, which allows him to like have an insanely good practice, especially against Marth. Uh, same school that Tatsio goes to, so they grind like a lot of friendly together. Alright. Collins had most of the control this game, but Tiramisu attacked on 67%. Tiramisu right. goes for the low angle, but Bolt covers it. Bolt can cover the, the low angle and then back air forward smash the high one. Nice, catches the jump, and now it's 3 to 3. Ooh. I don't know who read who because they both just jumped. It's kind of this is very weird sometimes. The one issue with reading that jump is fuck. Ooh, it's scary. Wow. Let's see how this goes. Ooh, shines out of the drill. It's funny how you shine out of the drill and not the nail before. Unfortunate. It didn't react to the fact that uh, he's getting side beat. When you go off stage as Fox, you kind of have to always be cognizant, knowing, like, alright, I'm 100% going to be ready to get side beat, so I'm going to media cancel it. Gets a still shine on the, the no tech, which wasn't get out. The eyes in, unfortunately. Colin's beating him up super hard right now. Here, Mr. commits super hard in the corner, but he closes the stock clean. Corner pressure. Collins told us, ooh, gets out, but low percent Falco makes it so even when you kind of find your way out of the puzzle of corner pressure, it's still not guaranteed that you're going to get out. Alright. Calls, uh, calls his movement and calls the recovery. Good stuff. Let's see if he can bring it back. Also, sorry for bias. Alright, doesn't bite on the, on the bait. And this is going to close it out. Well played by uh, Bolt. Alright, 
Alright, they go back to Battlefield. This is a interesting choice from uh, from Max Tiramisu, but he's starting to cook in the right now. Has full in the corner. Let's see what he does with it. Nice pressure still up. I agree that this is Falco's second best stage. I think Stadium is the best stage for Falco. If I had the neutrals, I always ban uh, Battlefield first as fuck. Okay. Still close. Percent lead in Jeremy's favor, but control, I'd say, in Colin's favor. And closes out the stock. Tries to catch him in the little shield on the platform mini game. One of my favorite. There's a bunch of cool little mini games in Melee, and that's one of them. When uh, you're jumping around someone's shield and they're on a platform. Unfortunately, the age of shield dropping like kind of ruined that entire uh, era because now there's like the person on the platform has way more options. Oh, misses the up smash slash forward smash. What he's going for, and this is it. <sighs> Dash attacks his shield. This could be scary. Give us two fishing, but gets it. Nice air dodge. Really close to the ground. Misjudges the up throw. Ooh, catches the up beat. Alright, two stocks of two. Platform. Shine going to probably say up beat. High up beat to try dodge the lasers, but unsuccessful in recovering. We we'll get stuck in a shine, not punished for it. Yeah, Max not very jumpy at all. Um, you see a lot of uh, boxes go to the full hop. But they can't deal with the lasers very well. Max is trying to time his run up shield. Oh, should have back here. Tries to time his run up shield in that right there to catch uh, an aerial that would normally try to stuff his normal approach. Unfortunately, gets down in. Nice battlefield again. <sighs> There's an old saying, don't go back to the same alley you just got, you sported in. Um, so, I disagree, but let's go. Yeah. Not very jumpy, and also that, that back air is such a weak move. <laughs> um, it's such a weak move that can be so easily crowd canceled. Colin's always ready. Any high level player nowadays is always ready to uh, really never let you get anything for free. And landing like a neutral or a back air, like a falling neutral or a back air in that situation, is never going to happen without getting crowd canceled nowadays. <laughs> I'm glad people like the reference. Ooh, connects the shine off in there. That's brutal. Alright, good angle by uh, Tiramisu going straight up. Well disciplined. Uh, Tiramisu is also a tech master, so he's unable to, on battlefield, there's a lot of situations where um, situations where smash the eye isn't necessary. Now you need to smash the eye, so out of the way. Uh, starts up. Double jump shines. Uh, he's getting punished now, but Tiramisu screws up a little bit. Yeah, on the flip side for being like extremely biased and uh, in Tiramisu's favor, I'm happy to see Colin getting. If he wins this, he'll get either second or first, which is good. He's had a bunch of kind of unfortunate tournaments uh, in the last few weeks, losing to some uh, just. 
unfortunate losses, I'd say. Three stocks to one is looking really convincing. Considering that uh, Colin almost forfeited the set because he just didn't feel like playing, this uh, looks pretty damn convincing. Yeah, what's Alright. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's see if uh, the. You can see some cheese here from the box. Boy throw. Shine! Alright, I like it, I like it. And this is the set 3 0 in Colin's favor. But amazing showing from the one and only Tier Masu. Uh, bringing it all the way to third place, losing round three winners, I think, and uh, then making a meteoric run to third place, which is quite impressive. And now, if Colin is going to play Grand Finals, we will see a Falco Ditto, which we haven't seen in Grand Finals in a really long time, since last summer when Sometimes Slocks would go Falco against either Lint or Bolt. Yeah, Jaybird, I don't go to Brandeis. The reason why I know... Oh, Bentley. Okay, never mind. Um, I do go to Bentley. I do not know the last name, unfortunately. Um... Yeah, I really don't know that many people who aren't, who weren't like uh, sophomores or freshmen last year. So if they weren't a sophomore or freshman, chances are I really didn't know them. So, yeah. Good job today, my love. Try safe, Max. So they are going to play it out, it looks, and considering Colin is sitting down right now. And he's going to play Bowser. Right. One sec, I'm just going to send a text. Start on Battlefield. I don't know if it's gonna be hand warmer or not. It is not. All right, we're going right into it. I'll try my best to commentate. Taga did this. I am, from my like experience watching, because I've watched a ton of melee. Um, geez, they're just trading lasers back. Like, there's no one even getting the first laser right now because they're just trading. You know, they're just... So Link gets the full like full combo. Our first full combo. Ooh, she'll drop laser. Catch the side B. The one thing that Falcon means are really good at is when they get lasered on the recovery, they are always ready to uh, side B again. Because they do it to everyone else. Alright, let's see if Colin can uh, even this up. The low distance and low landing lag of Falcon's up B makes it extremely hard to edge guard. Like, Falcon's recovery is really, really good. <laughs> Bolt finds a way out of the corner. Ooh, shield drop into an air. Or power shield to Nair. <laughs> but yeah, in my experience watching, as I was going to say before, uh, Falco does, it seems to be a lot of... If you're on like the same macro level, if you're on like the same kind of skill level overall in the game, it seems like the better you know just like these little micro situations and you're just good at winning like these kind of just like off situations um skirmishes and such 
that's kind of who comes out on top. At least when I saw it, there's one summit where PP and Westwalls played, and Westwalls just won every single skirmish, like every single one, and then killed PP off every single one. Like it wasn't like kind of just outplaying him in neutral. So, at least that's how I felt. But. Still close. Bad downer on Shogun's Shine Nether Shield, but no follow up. I mean, I'm saying bad because he hit high on his shield, but had he not shielded, it would have been a really good cover in his landing. So when I say something's bad, it's not obviously universally bad. Because very few things in melee are universally bad. Or universally good. Yeah, so she had this high percent that Lin's at. This sh uh, Lin is spent. Uh, Lin is spamming shield a lot and just kind of going for that retaliations on uh, on college greediness. It just gets really hard in this matchup when someone has the lead because you really don't want to close it out. And Falco has a hard time killing in the ditto and or like any spacey matchup when they're a high percent because you can kind of spam shield and you're like, all right, I'll just get grabbed. But what really happens to get grabbed? You get up throw, forward throw. Especially on the center of the stage, it's not really cool enough. Shane on the side platform, avoiding the uh, get up lasers. Uh, Ooh, I'm so surprised it didn't work from Lynn, but it's one, it's one stock to one now. See, now it could be the flip side where Lynn gets greedy and Colin gets a fat follow up. No shine there or down there. Uh, no, he's dead. Alright, good game though. Yeah, Colin is uh, extremely, he's like such a nice guy, but the only person he's mean to is himself. <laughs> he's very hard on himself. Alright, close game so far. Ooh, short. Okay, the high percent. Yeah, sorry for yawning. Uh, the high percent greed um, actually allows a lot of open up for the other person. Right. Shield pokes on uh, on just uh, coming up shield happens a lot on platforms after like someone recovers or after someone gets uh, comboed up there. Combo isn't necessarily true on the tech chase, but uh, the B is the way the shields work in melee. You just get poked underneath. So the, shank, the shield starts smaller and then goes bigger. Uh, see how this combo goes. Still really close. Gets crowd cancelled, but nothing came out of it. Um, it's kind of hard to be ready for a crouch cancel punish in this matchup just because Falco is just known for being the anti crouch cancel. Uh, character. I mean, he has lasers to get around it. Down air can't be crouch cancelled, so a lot of times if you're not ready, but catch the way dash out with a slow smash. Um, the thing is, even the spam shield, even though it's happening on both sides, it's not at high percent. Like, it's not even getting grabbed very much at all. They're kind of just hoping they flinch and go for a slow smash or back air initial. Good control by Colin here. The upstash of Falco just ends a lot of combos if you get it correctly. Like you just cannot follow up ever. Alright, training lasers again. Crouch cancels the down there, but Lin doesn't see it.
Yeah, you don't get anything. You don't really get that much off of grabs. I was saying before, but um, just like throwing to the corner, and it's better than having them just shield and retaliate on your uh, ooh, on whatever you throw on them. Lin closes it out. One stock to one. I have no idea how Lin won that trade because he got down there from the air, so he should have. Uh, Colin should have had no lag when he got down there. So he should have been able to know that he wasn't gonna. He should have been able to get hit out of that. Yes, that is exactly what's happening. Infinite magic. Nice. Phase back to get with the outer hit of the down air, no chance to tech. That's 1-1. One, one. I haven't seen Colin beat uh, Lint in a really long time, so this would be a treat in the sense that I haven't seen it in a while, but also I kind of want to go home, so... Oh, really good character control there. Staying on the platform, not fading off. That was just a really solid combo from uh, Lint. Reads the roll, so good, so good. So good. <laughs> this is the wrong way. It doesn't get terribly punished. I just made call and lose. Holy cow, how do you not even know who's on the mic? Wait, I legit thought when that guy put the exclamation point Paulika that that link was an automatic like night bot thing. It is a thing. Okay. What is it? Dude, what is the code? Oh, that, that's, that's brutal, dude. <laughs> that's fucking brutal. Oh, God. <laughs> Rest in fucking peace, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Alright. Back to the mask. <laughs> I think you're doing it injustice, calling it just a nod. That is much more than a nod, my friend. <laughs> Whose dad is that? That's Silver. Oh god, that's... I like Silver, but that's pretty cringe. <laughs> but Silver's my homie. I love Silver. I'm not even talking about the match anymore, but whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure any normal human being, if they tried the Paulika, you would actually get a concussion instantly. <laughs> so I have been watching the game kind of passively, um, and Link's been reading the dog shit out of college the entire time. calling it. Ooh! Damn! Yeah, they're kind of both FD menaces, but I think Lin is better on this stage, but Colin likes it more. Kind of strange. Now he's dead. Rip. <laughs> this is, uh, brutal. Down- oh, he missed his dash. That should've been death. Alright, well, uh, I could see two SDs in, my, in the near future. 
Nope. Do it. Uh. Uh. <laughs> What? Destroyed? Wait, you're dead. Okay. What the fuck was that? Side view off the stage. Can do it. Get fucked. Oh my god. Wow, phenomenal last game. That was nail, but that was the peak of Connecticut melee. Wow. What a close last game. To really, uh... Yeah, Polika, that is called mental weakness. When you say, uh, you know what, F this game. Oh wait, you know what, maybe it's not that, no, uh... Yeah. Well, good stuff to win. Definitely the favorite to win. The one seed of the tournament. Unfortunately, um, we had the Tiramisu counter in Losers Finals. But had Tiramisu made it, he would have 6 0 Lint. I guarantee it. But if this is your first time seeing Connecticut Melee... You did witness our greatest player in Loser's Finals, and then you witnessed almost peak play in that last game. So. Yo, Spies. When are people leaving for diner tonight? When are people leaving for diner tonight? Soonish. What's up? Uh, that might be too late for me. But I, I, I need to go one of these times. I only, I've only been once or twice, I think, so... Do, do, do I know Infinite Havoc? Who is, the, is Does he have a tag here? Okay. I didn't watch any of the monthly. In chat, or Polika, I guess you were there. Tell me any cool upsets that happened at the monthly. So did, did you play Toucan or something? I don't know. <sighs> Wait, me. Oh, no, I need to see the chat. Wait, Miyagi is going to diner too? No, probably not. Because um, they're probably going to leave at midnight, and I have things to do. Oh, it's the bracket? Okay. But I'm gonna go at some point. Wait, Jay, what are you up to lately? Like, why are you, like, working? Or, like, why have you, or did you move or something? I don't, I don't know what's going on in your life. Why aren't you here? Wait, what was Thumbs Mafia score? I saw the last, uh... I saw the last game because I like skipped to see like who won on YouTube, and I saw like the most depressing last stock ever. Three one. Okay. Wait, who did Slocks or Smuckers win? Smuckers won. It was last stock though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like game five, I think. Yeah. I'm gonna go find out from Ricky when we're like leaving. So, all right. Well, <sighs> oh, you got a full-time job and can't go to weekday tournaments anymore. That's unfortunate. Well, I'm glad you found something meaningful, more meaningful than melee, I guess. Guys, you missed a sick on-stream set. It was Artie versus me. So I went all Marth and Sheik today. For those who don't know me, I'm a Fox man. Um, but I love Marth and I love Sheik. And I had a legendary set with Artie. It went to game three last stock. 
and my Marth almost this game two he SD three times against my Sheik and then I switched to Marth last game and I almost won. But yeah. Alas. Alright. Well, I'm going to peace out now. Unless, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to peace out. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Come down. If you weren't here today and you're from Connecticut, never hesitate to come. We're a very welcoming community here. We had a bunch of people who today, like probably like seven or eight, that I've never seen here before. And... Um... Yeah, they just showed up, and they're pretty solid, too. So, we use, like, always new people flooding in. So, I never hesitate to come. And, uh, yeah, or at the very least, participate in Twitch chat if you're watching, but not um, typing at all, because, yeah. Alright, well, I'm going to peace. Night.